How's it going? I'll get started in a minute. That's everyone's day today. I think people, I, I mean, maybe it's just, uh, I didn't look into stats on this, but the two FIFA games today. Uh, really, you could say all four quarterfinal games, I think, went to the underdog. Or at least the team that people weren't expecting, whether it was whether they were really statistically underdogs or not. Like, for example, France won today. But I think people, you know, <laughs> were voting for England, at least around these parts. And uh, Portugal lost to Morocco. And I know that there's some significance to Morocco winning that <laughs> the people are happy about, but. A lot of people want to see Portugal. Argentina, you know, did make it through. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I missed the first game. I was at my son's track meet. It took forever. And um, we could have basically shown up like five hours later than we got there. And then it was like, the noise level at indoor track meets. Like, outdoor track meets are so nice. Indoor track meets are so loud. And there's usually nowhere comfortable to sit. So when you have to, like, stand around for five hours before you compete, it's just, like, not a good good recipe for success. Um, so one time it reconnects, and then the next, time, the next time it makes me press the reconnect button which I just did, so, and then the monitor goes blurry. This is all BS. I have the Ethernet hooked up to both the iPad that's streaming and the computer that the monitor is on, and they both have, you know, the Cat 8 cable. And if you test them for the speed, they have, like, I don't know exactly, but let's say, like, 900, you know, upload because nobody else is uploading. And then the download is like 800, which is supposed to be a gig, but I guess the neighbors don't compete for the upload, but they do for the download, and, and that takes a little away from the speed available. The point is, is uh, it's YouTube's problem, and which I understand, um, because I mean, they've got tons of people live streaming at any moment, and I'm not bringing in, like, a huge amount of viewers, if any viewers. <laughs> so, totally understand. And I also think there could be a bot prevention thing going on. And I also know that there's a lot of big streamers that have, like, you know, tens of thousands of people on their nightly stream, and they start off with two minutes of blank space, which means maybe... YouTube does this, you know, bot test to everybody. And the big streamers just understand, like, you can't stop broadcasting until two minutes after you start your stream because it's going to break twice. I mean, I, I know the pattern. Mine breaks twice every stream. All right, so in the beginning, I'm just lining up the pieces. So I guess I'll do more intro talk during this moment. So uh, the track meet... It didn't go well. <laughs> um, we ended up not even staying for the, um, the weight toss. So we had to wait like five hours to do the shot put. Put my son in no condition to get a PR. It wasn't an important meet. I'm not going to go into the details. Though if he won the gold medal, I probably would. <laughs> so, um, so it wasn't a great day at the track. It wasn't a great day watching the games. And then I got delivery. This was supposed to be a good thing. I got delivery of the Stray Dog Alpha Bench as long as, and also several other pieces of equipment. I made a video of the unboxing, but I can't upload it yet because, and here's the problem part. I didn't finish part putting the, I didn't finish part I didn't finish assembling the bench. Um, it's very easy. There's actually two tricky parts. So the very first thing, 
the instructions were missing from the box, so I'm guessing at all of the instructions, but the first instruction you had to do was they have these two pieces of metal that have been welded together and then cut apart, and you have to like put them back together and then put this brace over them and put screws through the brace. And that takes a while to figure out how to set that up because the, the metal is heavy, and when you try to set it up, it like, it gets pulled apart by its own weight. So anyway, it took me like at least 10 minutes to figure that out. Like lining up two pieces of metal took at least 10 minutes. So anyway, and then you bracket it in. And then the brackets were really tough to get in. I don't know how many minutes that took, like maybe 20. But, and then everything else went smooth until I got to the main sort of piece that you know, it's an adjustable bench, so it's like, it could be a flat bench, or it could be an incline, or it could be, you know, like, the back pad and the seat pad, they, like, move. And in the middle, where they move, there's a screw that goes through the brace piece, which I was saying keeps the two pieces of metal together, and then the two bench. So it's like, there's two pieces on the bottom supporting the frame, and then there's two pieces on the top that are adjustable to the bench. And the two pieces on the bottom are held together by a like a, a bracket that's like V-shaped and it has like a pipe at the top. And then the, the seat and the backrest, they go one inside the other around that pipe, which is attached to that V-bracket, which is attached to those other two pieces. So basically there's like four pieces, the brace and then the bench and the seat and they're all connected at one screw. And I couldn't get this screw in. <laughs> I started watching a movie called Father Stew. I'm gonna tell you about that movie in a second. Well, let me look at the pieces and I'll tell you about Father Stew. All right, so two of the pieces came pre-assembled and the rest I got lined up with sixes. Now I'm just gonna start putting the pieces in while talking to you about Father Stew. So the bench. So I watched Father Stew. I don't remember how long it was, but Let's say it's like somewhere between 90 minutes and two hours. I watched half of it. I didn't get this screw in. I mean, I don't know how you feel after spending 45 minutes trying to get one screw to work, but <laughs> it didn't put me in a great mood. Uh, so I gave up, which is not something I normally do, but I also was getting a lot of interruptions. My work was calling and of course I'll do whatever my work needs, and I did, but for the most part, they didn't need me. Like I was on a call, it just and I just like agreed with, with what was going on, not, and that's not to mean that I didn't disagree. I mean, I guess it was good to have me there to check and, and make sure that I agree, but it's like, if I hadn't been available, nothing would have been any different. I mean, I heard the plan and I was like, yeah, that'll work. So that like took, I don't know, 20 minutes out at least um, from what I was working. I don't know. It's just like, I don't know how much time I spent with this bench. I also unboxed all the other stuff. And then after I unboxed it, I like separated the recycle and the plastic and the garbage and the cardboard and folded everything and put it outside. It's like, it's a whole thing. Um even before I started getting equipment to review, I was always going through all those procedures with the recycling. And I sort of feel like that's part of the karma of why I, I now get review stuff, because at least I can be trusted to spend the time to do the recycling, recycling properly. Um, though maybe that's coincidence, but I'm still, anyway, so I did it. So I had to like do all the recycling. Then I had to work with all the little stuff because this, order from Stray Dog, this is not review. This is, I paid for this stuff. This is basically the Christmas present. But then my kids asked for another present. Like they, they said they didn't want anything all year long. So then I ordered the bench. And then of course, after I ordered the bench, then they finally came up with something. So now basically they're gonna get two presents. They got a new bench. And they got what they're asking for. Anyway. I, we needed the bench. I mean, I could have survived with the old bench. So, and they were the ones who said it was no good. So it really was for them. But 
whatever. All right, so I'm going to put this picture here, although I think it's going to go past that midpoint. This was here. Anyway, a lot of it's here. So I have put down one piece so far. I'm not sure what I need to put down next. That's why I'm sort of paused here. Like this piece looks good, but I don't think there's white there. And there's not that many other red pieces that even look. Let me grab all the pa red pieces that even look like they possibly could go there. I think this one is probably gonna be the answer. All right, let's just try it. The reason why I'm hesitant to try it is I wanna get a streak going of correct pieces. And now that I think about it, this is probably not correct because there's shadow up here and there's no shadow here. There's a line though, so it's probably this piece because there's a line here and a line here, so I guess this is the piece. All right, so if we get all 42 pieces correct, yes, today, then we'll consider it a 42-piece streak. If we had some streaks going before, but we lost it yesterday. So we're going to get it back today, hopefully, if we can go with no mistakes through 42 pieces. All the um, advice channels for YouTube creators say that you have to pick something that your channel is about. And if you have like multiple things, then you make multiple channels. But I'm not doing that. I've had like this channel forever and I'm just going to keep it like that. So sorry if uh, the workout people don't like puzzles and if the puzzle people don't like workouts and I recently started doing some Bible stuff and I've got my comic books. Basically I've got everything that I do on this one channel. So I understand why it's not like, basically YouTube wants channels. They don't want like, and it makes sense, right? I mean, if you get like, you want, you turn on ESPN, you expect to see sports. You turn on like, the food network and you expect to see food like you don't want to turn on the food network and they're like well today we're putting together jigsaw puzzles so you know i understand but i understand but i'm not changing i mean it's not that important to me i don't know what youtube could really do for me hard to imagine anything I mean you see these people who claim to make so much money doing YouTube I'm not sure I even believe it I'm happy to do it don't get me wrong I'm just not going to create three separate channels and curate the content I mean I think people can just decide for themselves whether they like these. Also, what I do, and you would think that YouTube could just update their algorithm to make this make sense, is I put them, I put the different types of videos in playlists. So, <laughs> YouTube should be able to recommend videos based on whether or not they're in the playlist. If that makes sense. Like if it's in a certain playlist, if a person watched a video from one playlist that has puzzles, well then they're puzzle people. If they watch the video from the playlist that has workouts, then they're workout people and they should get any videos I put in the workout playlist and you put those videos on their home screen. I mean, that should be easy enough for YouTube to figure out. All right, this piece here, do you think it's this piece? A reason why I don't think it's this piece is because I'm expecting there to be some red. And this doesn't, 
I guess it does have a little bit of red. All right, let's try it. The thing is, if we're wrong, then our streak is over. Okay, that is it. All right, so now the next piece is a, a lot of flesh. And the shape of that piece, that to me looks like a leg. I mean, I know it's missing a foot, but it's got a knee and a, a bend. I refer to those pieces as leg pieces. So we're looking for a flesh colored leg piece. There's a, there's one of those leg pieces. And that does look flesh colored, doesn't it? All right, let's see if that fits. Uh, the only thing is there's no white on it. Hmm. And there's some red. Let's try it. It fit. And now I think, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think it's one more down piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven down, six across. So there's only one more piece here. And I think it's this piece because it's looking for another leg and more hand flesh. And that looks like it lines up in both categories. Yeah, that's it. So we did the first row. Now we need to start building out. So Santa's holding some paper here. I guess it's a list. <sighs> who's naughty and who's nice, probably. And his finger, if you look at the, um, what we're trying to match the art to, it shows his finger on the list, and I have that piece. But does it connect, like right here? Wow, I wasn't sure of that. I was taking a gamble. I'm losing the streak. Well, we didn't lose it. Now, look at this piece. It's like a huge, like, arrow, barb type of piece. And it goes right into the hand. So let's look for, this has a barb, this has a barb, this has a barb, and this looks like the color of the hand, doesn't it? And then it looks like paper, and then it looks like red. But would that red be so close to here. It would be like right here. I'm not so sure about that piece, but it does have that flesh color. Yeah, that's got to fit there. I don't get the red, but it's got the hand, so it's got to fit. Yeah, it fit. That's it. Some green above the paper. And look at this. Some green. So this probably goes... What would you say? Does it go there? Or does it go there? I think it goes here, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's try that. So it's going to connect to both of these pieces. Good. Now, a bulb that's part green. And then what else? Is it red? This piece is interesting. Do you see that line? What is that line? Let's open this up because I think it goes um, further out than what we can see. So I don't want to mess up the folds on this, but we've got no choice. You know what we could do? I could take a picture on like a tablet and then leave the tablet sitting here. Or I could try to just memorize it real quick. All right, so it's part of his glasses. Remember we were looking at that like geometric shape and saying, what is it? 
I think it's his glasses. Right? So, let me see here. Yeah. Yeah, that's his glasses. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where. I think it goes right here. Yeah, that's what that is. I'm not going to fold that thing. I'll just remember. I mean, I think I know where his glasses go. Somewhere on his face. Alright, we got two of these pieces that are already half assembled. I still didn't find the green bulb piece. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Here's his, here's his eyes. I bet you they connect to that glasses piece. There you go. Is this also part of his face? Let me take a look at that picture again. Yeah, that's probably his mouth. So, the thing about his mouth is, uh, I don't see how it connect. Does it connect to this? It doesn't look right. It looks like it goes like here-ish. And he has uh, fingers on this side touching his glasses. Did you see a piece with fingers on it? I don't. Um, are these fingers? Yeah, could be. Spin that around. Um, yeah, that could be. But is it that close to that other piece? It's kind of like I got. Oh, by the way, remember when we had the piece, and we said like if we connect it, like these two are connected, but not to the main thing. Does it count? So I think I got an idea for that. So, the if as long as there's one piece that touches all the others, you can assemble it out here. But the other day we had like three in a row and I want, was going to attach to the bottom. So I, before I did that, I attached those three to the puzzle. And that was the right thing to do because if I'd attached it to here and then the middle piece would touch the top and the bottom but not the extension. So my sort of instincts were right, though I can't really say right because I'm making up the rule, but I'm following up on what my instincts were, which were that I had to connect that piece and I did, but now like this piece, I don't have to connect yet because this is touching this, you know, basically we've got like a central piece that's touching everything. I still didn't find this green bulb. I may have to open that thing I didn't want to open. This map, it'll give us some ideas. I'm thinking about this piece going here. And I'm basing that on this light red next to this dark red. But what I'm not sure is that this side is going to match this. But I'm willing to give it a shot. Yeah, it fit. And now we have a pretty good idea of what piece goes here. It's like kind of a pointing mushroom piece and it should be red, dark red. Here's such a piece. I'll just study the shape. Yeah, that looks right. There you go. We're doing good. Now, what about this piece? Does it go here? 
because we have suit and uh, beard, I think that is, right? Beard? Yeah, I think it should go there. Let's see. No, it doesn't. You're screwed up. Oh well. The streak is over. Here's the piece that we were, that was supposed to go there. Oh well. Two days in a row. We failed to be perfect. What were we perfect three days in a row before that? I think I got overconfident from the three days in a row of success. I started thinking I knew what I was doing. That's when you mess up. When you think you know what you're doing. When you don't, when you're not sure if you know what you're doing, you get like extra careful. But when you think you know what you're doing, that's exactly when you mess up. By the way, here's the green bold piece. There we go. I fit. Uh, what about down here? More green and a mushroom, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. It's at the bottom layer, so it can't be any of these double pieces. Gotta be a single piece with the mushroom in the upper right. Let's, let's drag all of those pieces out here. Uh, well, looks like we have three such pieces, but I don't think any of these fit that, what's going on there. I'm gonna take another peek at the picture. like right on the turn. Oh, that list, by the way, it, it like hangs down pretty far, like at least to his knees, maybe further. It's like hangs down like this. So anyway, I think this is that piece that we're looking for. Yeah, that fits. I think this one goes next to it. It does. Hmm. Now, is that hit the bottom of his beard? So then there should be a lot more beard. Like, here's a lot of beard. Is this going to fit? I already lost the streak, so I'm getting a little reckless, I think. Oh, that's not correct. Is it, like, connect to... This? No. Is that correct? Yeah, I think it is. His head is like turned a little bit. And these two pieces both touch that piece, so we're good. Hmm. To go up here? No, it doesn't. But it looks like it does, right? It's got flesh pieces, it's got like glasses pieces, it's got the right color scheme. Why doesn't this fit? Anyway, it doesn't fit. Can't say why. Does it go here? Yeah, it does, wow, crazy. All right, so that's why it looked so much like it belonged here, it just was, I moved it from one side of his face to the other, and that's where it fit. But this thing is floating in space. Uh, here's beard here, so it needs to connect with that beard, but there's more beard in the middle. And by the way, I have these two pieces came installed of beard. So let's just see if they fit. Yeah, that's it. So now, we got the beard all the way through to his face. And look at this, we can see this piece. Three bulbs, left, top, and bottom. Let's see which candidates we have for that piece. 
There's three of them. Uh, I think those are the only three. So it's one of these three pieces. Or maybe I've got another piece spun. Um, both of these first two look like options, but I think it's this one because the hat is going to go through it a little bit. Yep. This looks like it goes here. I, I don't have a reason. It just looked like it. Just I just saw it. Um, do I have this spun the wrong way? No, that's correct. Uh, so it probably connects here, right? All right. Santa's face is all the way to the edge. And like, look, we can see this piece very well. So this has inlet on the bottom, bulb on the top. Here's one such piece. Is that the only one? Yeah, that's, no, here's another one. But that's the only one with the right color scheme. Hmm. I'm just not sure about that red. Yeah, that's not the right piece. No way, because it's uh, inlets on the left and bottom, bulb on the top. It's gotta be a piece like spun the wrong direction because otherwise I don't see the piece. This one, yeah, spin it around, okay. That's the piece. Right, now we got a hat piece, three bulbs. This is the only one I have that's three bulbs and looks like a hat. That's it. All right, his, uh, his arm. Yeah, yeah, there's some wrist below that hand. So we need something flesh colored. I think it's gotta be this, right? Yep. More flesh. You know, I only had one piece go wrong and it was only off by one. But regardless, the streak is now over. All right. Well, I had a me another mess up there, so good thing we're not counting tonight. Towards the streak. Because the streak would be busted, and it is busted. We got two wrong today. All right, we did it. Time to work on the car. Just give me a break. Okay, I'll... Uh I'll start building the car in a second. I'm also tired. I've got like track meet and that putting that bench together it, like tuckered me out. Anyway, I just get a sip of water before I continue. Maybe post something in the chat and, and I'll discuss. I noticed there's a logo overlay in the right corner. It's like I was looking at my page and they had an option. So I did it. So that like Anadel Comics logo, I guess it's also my like personal logo. I mean, I'm using it everywhere. All right, let's get to work on the car. So we have built two fairly substantial pieces 
But it doesn't look like a car yet. Not sure what that's all about. I guess it has to start looking like a car at some point, but not yet. There's the book. There's three bags. So I can put the bags over here. I think I again forgot to put the post-it in. So I'm going to be searching for where we left off yesterday. Yeah, this piece we had connected. Next after that is connect two threes. Did we do that? All right, then like right here. It's saying to take two of these three pieces and two of these dowels and to connect them here, except I don't see that happening. It's like they're supposed to span from this to here. Anyway, let's try it. It looks like a big span to me, but if they say it'll work, who am I to argue? All right, so two black dowels. Uh, yeah, they're dowel on both ends. And then two, three, three circle pieces, like standard ones. All three go in the same direction. I think it's like, no, that's an L. That's an L. Two. I need to open a new bag. Didn't say to. There's a three. And then another one just like that. Just very simple. Three, three circle piece. Nothing fancy. And the second dowel. Somehow I only pulled one out of the bag. Either that or I lost one. All right, so just connect this into the end. Do that for both sets of pieces. Now, this piece is supposed to go from this blue post to this. This is not even open. It's not even possible to go there. Did I connect? Was I supposed to leave this open and I didn't? Yeah. These two pieces are supposed to have open receptor and they don't. Hmm. Let's try connecting it and seeing what happens. Okay, is this supposed to connect to the steering piece? 
No, it doesn't have the opening. So it doesn't reach this piece and it doesn't have a steering piece. The steering piece doesn't have a receptor. So just sit on top. No, it doesn't. It's supposed to connect to this piece, but I think maybe I have this piece hanging off the wrong end. I have an open piece here, but I think it's supposed to go the other way. But the problem is it's like all connected through all this stuff. You know, I'm looking at the previous direction, and it looks good. So I don't know why, when I look at this 56, I don't see, it doesn't look the same. No, okay. It does look, did I put the chair on the wrong end, maybe? Chair faces, no, that looks good. I can't tell what's wrong with the, uh, hmm. open space doesn't go next to the T. It goes the opposite way. I don't know how difficult that's going to be to fix. That piece is really in there. I think it's got a lot of other pieces going into it. I wonder if I could just pull the dowel out. Try to get the whole piece out, but the piece is connected to something. All right, let's take the whole, let's take the T off and see if we can spin this piece around. No, it's like locked in there and from so many different angles. this kid here went on to the pipe no way I don't get this. I mean, obviously I don't get it. That's how I ended up in this position. But I can't even seem to backtrack and find the answer. Alright. This piece somehow needs to be spun. I don't even remember how we got that there. Hmm. Everything is like locked in so tight. If 
I start taking it apart, I might not remember how to put it back together. I think the easiest thing is to just pull that dowel out. How do you do that? Maybe push it out from the bottom? Where is the bottom? You know what? You can get to the bottom. I just gotta get the right piece in there. I can pop that right out. Hmm. that dowel up. That's what we got to do. Huh. When I went to push that on, this popped up, making me think that I can pull it out. Guess what? The dowel didn't come out. <laughs> All right. Why is that? No, that's never coming out. That's part of a piece. That's not, that's no dowel. That's part of a piece. All right, let's put it back in. Now, I'm thinking maybe we just put something on incorrectly. The chair is maybe on incorrectly. All right. Or maybe it goes inside. Maybe I, the dowel piece, the new one needs to be different. did read that people had trouble with this puzzle. And now I'm one of those people. doesn't even reach like this doesn't even reach there wait a minute maybe it's the blue piece that I need to move yeah that's it this black towel can stay here and as we established it's not even a dowel um, all right, I'm pulling this piece off again. I think I know what to do this time. How the hell did we get this off last time? All right, got it. 
Okay. Here, I think it's the problem is that the blue is supposed to go on the end and the um, black is supposed to go through the middle and that will make, you'll be able to reach, well, I'm kind of messing up here. All right. And the dowel through the middle the blue through the end. And then it's gonna be able to receive that other piece. But is this gonna to be too tight for this chair? it's on but now this thing doesn't fold anymore because now it's too tight up against the chair well that apparently looks fine um like this chair this I'm calling it a chair. Whatever this thing is, it was moving forward. When this was one click forward, like you can see on this side, and now it can't. But maybe it's not supposed to. All right, so now this piece does what it's supposed to do, which is connect those two. So now, well, we still can't put the T back on because we got to fix this side as well. At least we know what to do now. Wow, this whole chair comes off. Oh, okay. So it's gonna move again because the whole chair, the chair is attached to this. So by moving this one back, the chair is gonna move back and then it will turn again. Okay, everything's coming up roses here. back on that is hmm. come on well this is the same problem I was having today with that alpha bench can't get the piece to go through why though what's stopping it do I have this piece in the wrong end or something no uh, everything looks good there. You know what? Let's put this in first. So it goes here. All right. Now we'll put this on top second. Yep, that was easier. And then we'll make the connection. Now finally we can put the T squip the T back on the front. And now, yes, now it folds again. Alright, good. Basically we've got back to square one. We did one we did one square, 56. The whole time we're sitting here. All we did was 56. Alright. Hopefully 57 goes quicker. Alright. Two of these threes with the third one perpendicular. Two of the pieces with the doyle and a cylinder. Two asymmetric blues and two of those little like dynamite reds. All right, here's the blue pieces. The 
looking for the uh, the threes with the one offset. There it is. How many of those we need? Two of those, and then two of the the cylinders on the doils. There's one cylinder on a doil. Uh, this one doesn't count. It's a cylinder on a plus. I think we're looking for a doil, not a plus. A dowel, a dowel, not a doil. All right, there's a cylinder on a dowel. And there's the other three, the third one offset. All right, what do we gotta do? I gotta build these. It's two separate builds because they're asymmetric. Did you ever get that bench working? Uh, I have one bolt to get through. Uh, basically where you saw it, the bolt's halfway through, and I took a break. I'll finish it tomorrow. I'll get it. Can you even tell what this is going to be? Uh, no, I can't. It's a car. Yeah. I know, you can't tell. Like, I've been building it for five days. You can't even tell yet that it's a car. What's the difference between these two? Just which side the blue goes in from? The outside or the inside? Huh. All right, I'm just gonna follow the instructions exactly because I don't understand That looks like what they did. And the next one looks pretty much the same. Um, it might be another one of those situations where the only difference is how you attach it after you build it. Because I don't see how this is... It's slightly different. The, uh, the blue has a ring on a different side. But I don't think that matters a lot. But let's see. I just doubt that that's going to affect the build in any way. All right, now these need to attach. All right, if you hold it like this. This piece and this piece, that's where it's supposed to attach, I believe. Um, yeah, that's, that's it, I think. There you go. And one on the other side. Yeah, I don't think these would have mattered. They could have said times two. The only difference is how you hold them when you attach them to this piece. But I think people could have figured that out if they'd said times two, not showed them being built like facing back to back. All right, do I push that piece in or leave it sticking out? I think I, I, think I did the correct thing. All right, on to 58, which requires two of these six, like half thickness six, held together by one asymmetric blue. There you go, half size six, right? Yeah, I need another one of those. Why would they not just not do a full size six? They're doing two half sizes, then stick stacking them on top of each other. They're doing two half thickness pieces, 
stacking them on top of each other, which means they could have done a one single thickness piece, unless something is going to later on work with the fact that that's like, you know, like something's going to go halfway in, or so far it doesn't seem relevant, that's my point, but I guess it's going to be at some point. sixes drive the asymmetric blue through it now what am I supposed to do that times two no no I'm not I'll tell you where it connects um, connects underneath this yellow yeah, there's a spot there for it to connect. Well, there you go. It's lined right up with that yellow. No satisfying click. But I think it's in there. Oh, these pieces are lined up. Probably something's going to go there pretty soon. All right, two of these pieces that are one side is a cylinder, one side is a plus, and then two asymmetric reds. Is that? Yeah, that's two of them. The reds are weird. They're like plugs or something. They don't connect on both ends. Only one side connects. All right, here's the piece. Cylinder on one side, plus, plus side. Plus sign on the other. <clears throat> Wait a second. Oh. Tell you they don't connect directly, <clears throat> they connect through this, meaning you put the red in from the outside, it goes through, and then you connect this piece on the up from the inside. Actually, it might be easier to have it kind of lined up already, hold it in place until you shove the red through it. I think I'm going to, this is the end of the page, so I think I'm going to end. Basically, we're going really slow because I've been doing one-hour shows lately because I need to get my rest. And uh, and then the po Advent puzzle has taken half the time. Anyway, and then today we had to fix a screw-up, my screw-up, obviously. But we got something done. I'm going to page 19 tomorrow. Instruction 60. All right. See you tomorrow. Good night.